Let us take a short quiz to quickly test our understanding so far. The amount received over and above the par value is credited to which account? A. Share capital account. B. Calls in advance account. C. Securities premium account. And D. Share for future account. The amount received over and above the par value. This is credited to the securities premium account. It is credited to securities premium account. Answer should be C. As per the Companies Act, a company cannot proceed to allot shares unless dash is received. A. Minimum subscription. B. Allotment money. C. Application money. D. Call money. The company cannot proceed to allot shares unless A. Minimum subscription is received. Minimum subscription according to SEBI is 90% of the issue. So the correct answer is A. Minimum subscription. Next, a company is permitted to issue shares at a discount if at least Dash has elapsed since the company was entitled to commence the business. A. 3 years. B. 2 years. C. 1 year. And D. 6 months. A company is permitted to issue shares at a discount if at least 3 years, 2 years, 1 year or 6 months have elapsed since the company was entitled to commence business. As per Companies Act 1956, one year, C, one year must have elapsed since, must have elapsed after the company began business before it can issue shares at a discount. However, as per Companies Act 2013, shares are, cannot be issued at a discount. E Limited had allotted 10,000 shares to the applicants of 14,000 shares on pro rata basis. The amount payable on application is rupees 2. F applied for 420 shares. The number of shares allotted and the amount carried forward for adjustment against allotment money due from F is 60 shares in rupees 120, B 340 shares in rupees 160, C 320 shares and rupees 200, D 300 shares and rupees 240. So, if one applied for 14,000 shares, one was allotted 10,000 shares. F applied for 420 shares, therefore F must have been allotted 10,000 by 14,000 into 420 or must have applied for 4300 shares. Three hundred shares. The number of shares allotted and the amount carried forward for adjustment. Therefore, what is the amount which is carried forward? Extra number of shares is actually 120. What is the amount payable on application? It is rupees 2. So 102 into 2. Rupees 240 is the extra money to be carried forward. F had applied, has been allotted 300 shares, applied for 420 shares. Therefore, extra number of shares 120 into application money is 2. Therefore, rupees 240 must be the amount which was excess and can be adjusted. So, the correct answer is the number of shares allotted. 300 and amount carried forward 240. Therefore, option D. Next, X Limited allotted 25,000 equity shares to the applicants of 36,000 shares for rupees 10 each on pro rata basis. A applied for 1,800 shares. Shares allotted to him are dash 
and he had paid an application money of rupees 5 per share dash is the excess amount received that can be utilized towards allotment money a 1500 shares in rupees 1500 b 1350 shares in rupees 2250 c 1250 shares in rupees 2750 D one thousand fifty shares in rupees three thousand seven fifty. Allotted twenty five thousand shares to applicants of thirty six thousand shares. Applied for A applied for eighteen hundred shares. So how many shares were allotted? That is one part of the question. <clears throat> applied. Thirty-six thousand allotted. Twenty-five thousand. Whatever information we have first, we write on the left side. So applied for thirty-six thousand allotted twenty-five thousand. A applied for thousand eight hundred shares. Therefore, A was allotted twenty-five thousand by thirty-six thousand into eighteen hundred, giving us one two. Five zero shares. He has paid an application money of rupees five per share. So, what is the excess amount which has been received? Thousand eight hundred minus thousand two fifty. Five fifty is the excess shares into. Application money per share is five. Therefore, this is the excess money to be adjusted. The correct answer should be thousand two fifty shares were the number of shares that were allotted, and two thousand seven fifty is the excess money which can be adjusted. So the correct option should be C. Share allotment account is A real account, B nominal account, C personal account, D company account. Share allotment account is a personal account. Correct answer is C. It's a personal account. If a company is not able to refund the excess amount of shares within a reasonable time, the company will pay them interest at the rate of A fifteen percent, B five percent, C seven percent, and D. Ten percent. If the company has received excess money over and above that can be adjusted against allotment over and above that which can be held in calls in advance, then the interest which is to be paid is at the rate of fifteen percent per annum. Fifteen percent per annum. The directors of E Limited made a final call of rupees fifty per share on first August, indicating the last date of payment of call money to be thirty first August. Mr. White, holding five thousand shares, paid the call money on October fifteen. If the company adopts Table A, the amount of interest on calls in arrears to be paid would be A three thousand one twenty five, B one five six two point five, C. One thousand eight seventy five and D one thousand five hundred. Table A, mind you, is a format of the Articles of Association, and as per Table A, the maximum uh, uh, rate of interest on calls of arrears would be five percent. So, Mr. Y holding White holding five thousand shares has paid the money on October fifteenth. It was due on thirty first August, so we are talking of September, October, thirty plus fifteen, say forty five days or one and a half months. Let us just compute and see. We take days first. You'll say five thousand shares into fifty per share into as per table A. The rate percentage is five percent, so into five percent. Into we compute interest for forty-five days because the last date for payment was thirty-first August. He has paid only on October fifteen. Thirty days in September, fifteen days in October. Into forty-five 
divided by 365. So the answer should be 1541.09. We don't have this option here. So let us just recompute taking months. That is 31st August to October 15th would be one month, one and a half months. One month of September and half month of October. So let us just recalculate this. We are talking of 5000 shares into 50 per share payable into 5% being the rate of interest as per table A into 1.5 months divided by 12 months. Oh yes, 1562.50. Therefore, a correct answer should be B, 1562.5. A limited before commencing business, can it issue shares at discount? A, possible, B, not possible, C, possible with the permission of the stock exchange and D, possible with the approval of shareholders and with the permission of government. B, not possible. As per Companies Act 1956, they can issue shares only after one year of commencement of business. As per the new Companies Act 2013, a company cannot issue shares at a discount. So your correct answer is B, not possible.